what's up? LD Shadow Lady here, and welcome back to Last Life, where the fairy fort is still, somehow, standing proud and not on fire. I feel so safe in here, I will even risk taking my armor off for a second to show you my new flower crown and fairy wings so that I fit right in here at the fairy fort. Now, I've already taken care of some important business. I moved the zombie villager to a much more secure location for us to cure a little bit later. But after all the curses and hauntings of last episode, I want to start this episode off a little bit lighter with something nice. So I'm going to bust a hole in this wall here because I did notice that there's only one exit, which is not a great idea health and safety wise. So I'm adding a smaller escape route out of the fairy fort. And this will go through the dark forest, which is dangerous to be in at night. Ah. Speaking of dangerous, it's about to get a lot more dangerous. But at least now I have a path leading all the way up to Ren's tower, where he watches over me and protects me. Now, back to the safety of the fairy fort, because the Pokemon's about to be chosen. Hopefully it's not me, again, because I don't think anyone's ever going to follow me down a mysterious ladder ever again. Okay, here we go. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Oh, thank goodness. I can frolic in the fairy fort freely, knowing that I am not a murderer. But there are murderers around, so maybe I should put my armor back on and hold my sword. In fact, I actually have a really clever plan to ensure my safety in some kind of disaster situation. I'm gonna need a few things. So I descended into the secret tunnel and started working on my contraption. Now, you may already know what this is, but just in case you don't, I will give you a demonstration. This is for emergencies only. But you see, if I get into any danger, I sound the alarm, somebody closes this trap door, and I am teleported to safety. To make this work even better, I'm going to put some redstone all the way up to the surface where I will put a lever. But before I could place my lever down, I was interrupted with a visit from Ren. Oh, let's a quick look. Uh-oh. That's uh, my, my bad. Uh, there she is indeed. Ah, Queen of Shadows. Greetings. There's something in your face. Yes. I have received a wound. Have we heard news from any of the other fairies? A any, any boogeyman news? Oh, no. Are you the boogeyman? Nope. Are you? Uh, no. But I don't believe your answer. It sounded a little suspicious. <laughs> what do you mean? I mean, I think you might be the bogeyman. Well, I'm not. Okay. Oh, I'm such a terrible liar. <laughs> oh. Queen of Shadows, I am the bogeyman. Oh my gosh, Ren, no! The weight has been lifted off my shoulders. <laughs> well, I can't <sighs> help you, but thank right. you for telling me. Let me just give you some advice, Queen of Shadows. Don't yes? come anywhere near the Shadow Tower this evening, okay? Okay. Yes, okay. I'll stay away. Should I yeah. tell the others? Please do. Please do. Okay. Yeah, I will. But, yeah. Mm -hmm. I've got to go one big B and Cleo, but I can't type it in the chat because then everyone will see. And I don't want everyone to know. Oh no, they're not home. How am I going to warn them? Maybe I'll leave them a sign. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll leave them a sign. That's not ominous and creepy at all. Do not enter the shadow tower tonight. Hopefully they get the message before it's too late. Oh, also, I'm going to leave a sign here. Emma, the condensation. I just really want Cleo to say that. That is all. Goodbye. After that little detour, I finished up the redstone circuit on my teleportation device, and I summoned all of my allies to instruct them on how to use it. I have to show you something. Okay. This is in case of emergencies. I will use a code word in the chat if I get into trouble. If I say, pull the lever cronk in the chat, I need you to pull this very lever right here. Okay. All right, Cleo. Cleo, Hit please it. pull the lever. Oh, wait. Ooh, hello? What? What the heck? Oh, Where is she? Pearl teleporting She's magic. She's downstairs. Oh, it's wow. genius. What's going on in the Shadow Tower? Big B, yes. please gather around the axolotl. I have okay. something to tell you. I am the boogeyman. <gasps> it's okay, oh, he won't hurt us. This is good then. You guys are safe. I am working currently on a death machine at oh. Shadow Tower. Do not enter. So what we need to say is mm -hmm. we need to say against people that 
We hid something in the shadows. Ren has the villager. Oh, oh. Is what yeah. we oh, yes. You're a genius. I have an idea for how we can lure them. Me and Bigby sort of have a bit of a reputation for maybe not being the most intelligent players, maybe the goofiest of the bunch. Perhaps we can wander around <laughs> and somebody could overhear us talking about the location of the villager. Ah, wow. good idea. It's genius. It's genius. Shadow Alliance. Um, disperse. <laughs> So while Ren went off to build his death trap, Cleo, Bigby, and I set off to cure the zombie villager together. The coast is clear. Okay, follow me, guys. Be very careful. Huh. Never know who's around here. Okay. I thought you moved it. I did. This is a decoy. <laughs> oh, yes. Here it is. Okay, then. Right. I've got to throw a splash potion. And then... <gasps> He's transforming. <gasps> One eternity later. <gasps> yes! Oh, yes! Okay. Oh. Now people know. People know we have the villager. We should get out of here because they're going to come looking for us. Oh, yeah. Look, our name's already coming. Oh, it's Jimmy. He's just waiting. It was a little scary knowing that we could be rumbled at any second and our secret villager location could be exposed. But then we had an idea to sneak out of the hiding place and try to subtly trick Jimmy into believing the villager was actually in Ren's tower. Pigby, there's loads of creepers around here. Don't worry, I think the villager's safe in Ren's tower. I don't think they're going to look for it there. Probably not. I hope no one else finds the villager. Hopefully we're the only one that knows. Yeah, no, it'll be safe. Ren will look after it. Oh, actually, we should go back. We should go back to his tower. I, I still need to do another trade. Uh, wait, I gotta get I gotta get a couple sticks to trade with the villager. We just need to okay. stay away from the villager for long enough. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, what happened here? What? More trees? I love it. <laughs> Who has left me this gift? <laughs> the gift of life. <laughs> the most special of all gifts. 12 seconds later. It does get in the way a little bit. I will say. A little bit. Just the oak trees could go, perhaps. <laughs> where is okay. Cleo? I don't know where she went, but I'm going to go and get some more emeralds, if you know what I mean. Oh, wait. I never got a chance to, to get any. Oh. So Bigby and I ventured back into the secret villager location, making sure to cover our tracks behind us. But while we were down there, somebody was lurking around on the surface. A red name. I think Joel's here. <gasps> <gasps> Spooky. Goodbye. Ooh, spooky. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, okay, I think he's gone. Okay, I'm gonna do some more trading. Oh my, oh my gosh. Somebody pulled a lever. Somebody pulled a lever! Joel, you nincompoop! Why am I a nincompoop? What have you done? Did you pull my lever? Yeah, why? What does the lever Wrong do? Wrong lever, Kronk! What happened? What did it do? <sighs> you summoned me. It summons you? So you're home then. That's good. Glad you're home. Cool. Yep, yeah, you brought me home. What did you bring me here for? Nothing. Goodbye. Can you read the sign? Look, read the sign. No red names. Get out of here. Okay. Oh my gosh, that was so scary. I wasn't sure that our little trick had worked on Jimmy earlier, so Bigby and I decided to go out and try it again. This time within earshot of Jimmy and Martin. Yeah, if that's, we that's tell them that the villager is in Ren's tower, we're, we're gonna ruin everything. Oh my god, be careful everybody. There's a cheeky old red name up there. Let's wait! Everyone just what? Gizzle, Gizzle just, just died! Wait. And it wasn't Joel! It wasn't Wait, me. fairies <laughs> to the potion room! <laughs> Bigby, we've gotta go! It's not bloody me. Cleo? We need to just put this Cleo. in a safe place. Oh, whoa, whoa, what's happening here? Cleo? What happened here? Your husband happened here. And a creeper. But mostly your husband. Gah! What did he do? He took our brewing stand? No, 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 I've got the brewing stand. That was left behind. That was, that was fine. But yeah, he trapped your base. <gasps> How so, dare he? So you need to not have a door on that room. You want my advice? Never get a husband. Nothing but trouble. I think soon I'm going to have to start setting up some anti-red name traps around here to keep his shenanigans under control. So it turns out that Skizzleman's death was an act of Rendog, and he had cured himself from his boogeyman curse. But no sooner had I breathed a sigh of relief when disaster struck the Castle Alliance. So oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's great. Oh! oh my gosh! Oh! Oh my! 
The Castle Alliance. I don't know who to trust anymore. That, you cool. guys got some uh, internal conflict yeah. you need to work out, apparently. Do it. I had to do it. Big I feel ter I What did you do? Lizzie, I, I had to. I feel terrible. Are you the boogeyman? I am. I was the boogeyman. I had. There was no other option. We have like five minutes left. I had to do it. <gasps> oh my god! I had gosh. to do it. I feel terrible. She's gonna hate me. I'm gonna have to win her over somehow. The Castle I've Alliance. I feel what terrible. What have you done? Well, thank you for not killing me. <laughs> yeah, you had all diamond armor. Oh. Oh, the I Shadow Queen so has impressed. arrived at the Shadow Tower, Skizzle. Would you like to okay. meet the Queen herself? Where is she? Is she? Then, ah. my honorable knight, you've served me well. Well, you've served the boogeyman curse well. We all know how that goes. <laughs> you've cured yourself. I'm so glad. Yes, I brought indeed. something for you. Ooh, thank you. Diamonds. Oh, I feel terrible. Oh, my goodness. Yo, Skiz. Yeah, buddy. You're going to have one of my diamonds, dude. Oh, you don't I... have to do that. No, you, you, it was you're the taking boogeyman it. that got me, not you. Take it. Take it. I hate to break up your nice moment here, but did you notice that Bigby just killed Cleo? What? what? Wait. Wait a minute. Um, yeah, right here. It happened right here. <gasps> like, right Look there. at that. Dude, I feel terrible. I feel so bad. Bro. I feel so bad. I feel sick to my stomach. I did not want to do it. Two boogeymen in the Shadow Alliance. In the same alliance. You know, I'm going to make sure Cleo's okay. Cleo? 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 No. Cleo? 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 Lizzie? I can't find her, Big B. She's gone. I come bearing gifts. I I feel terrible. It's not Listen. me. You need to say sorry to it. It's Cleo, and I can't find her. She's left the castle. But you don't think she's gone far, no? I don't know where she went. I can't see her. Cleo hasn't been around here, has she? She has not. I'm extremely worried. I'm concerned yeah. that she may have broken in twain from what has transpired this evening. She might have sought alliance with somebody else. She knows where the villager is. Oh. This is bad. Oh, no. Although... <gasps> oh, Green's Wait died. a minute. Green's on red name. Uh-oh. Okay, this is bad. This oh, is bad. Oh, no. I'm going to move the villager, just in case Cleo turns on the group. Okay, all right. You move it. I'll keep an eye on the fort. Okay. What a terrible fate that has befallen our alliance. This is not what I had planned at all. As I was clearing out a new space for the villager, I was excited to see Cleo's name tag in the distance. But then I overheard her talking with Ren. Nope. Wait. Can't trust you. Can't trust you guys. Put it this guys. way. Let me, wait, let me put it this way. Say, it's, say it was five minutes to go before... It sounded like Cleo had truly given up on the Castle Alliance. And there was no hope of bringing her back. But the final nail in the coffin for our alliance was when I caught her trying to kill the villager. Cleo! Oh my gosh. Cleo! Mm-hmm. What happened? Bigby murdered me. Yeah. I saw Mm-hmm. He was the bogeyman? Yep. He didn't oh, tell me. so slick. He didn't tell me. I will just leave the castle. I've taken all my things. All oh. the stuff that I worked for. Bye. I am so mad. I'm so... I'm mad at him too. Nope. Not having it. You're leaving the Alliance? Mm-hmm. I'm going to be going where I can be appreciated. Where are you going? Oh, just, just, just to some friends. It's fine. It's fine. I knew I could never trust you. Aw, oh, you could have trusted me. Bye! Ren, I heard you there. Queen of Shadows, what has occurred in the forest of the Fairy Fort? She left the Castle Alliance. She said she's got other friends. What? She's gone forever. I, I begged her to stay too. This is really bad. It's just me and you now. Wait, where's Big B? He murdered Cleo. Do we really trust him? I mean, do we really just ditch big b though he was i mean it's the boogeyman it's the curse it's the curse yeah. shadow queen the curse you and i know how much that curse takes over and how desperate you get the longer the curse takes hold it corrupts you it turns you into an evil that you could never even fathom maybe we should go get him back where is he <laughs> he's probably up there in the castle all alone yeah let's go check on him Let i mean it didn't take long for cleo to leave us very quickly actually it's almost like she was Looking for an excuse to leave. I never well, exactly. her anyway. There might have been plans already made that she was on oh. the way out anyway. <gasps> <gasps> what? Oh, she's a red name. She's a red name, Red. She's a red name. Oh, no. my gosh. Oh my Did gosh, she do that on Big purpose? B. Gotta get Big B. Oh, my gosh. Wait. She's up there. Go back down. Go back down. Man. She's up there. Yes. That Seal was a Joel trap. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, okay. 
This is really bad. We need to get to Big B. We need to help him. We need to protect Big B now. Okay, okay. So we split up to look for Big B, who was somewhere in hiding. But I had a little run-in with a couple of red names, and it was terrifying. You got me. Oh. Fair and square. You hey, got Lizzie, me. don't worry. Just a couple of reds oh. coming through. Hey, you guys aren't allowed in there. You guys are red names. Wait, is it green names only? Yeah. Oh, no. Strip all the wood. Strip no. all the wood, then leave. Okay. I am very scared. Okay, let's running. head up to the... That's, that's unfortunate. Maybe you should. Yeah, maybe I should. Maybe you should run. Oh, God. Traitor! Hey, wait, what did I do? Oh, my goodness. The castle alliance has fallen apart quite dramatically in the space of about five minutes. Lizzie? <gasps> Bigby, where are you? Oh, my gosh. Quickly, Bigby. Yes, yes, yes. What you did was <laughs> catastrophic in its consequences. I know. I feel bad. Do you see the tab list now? Yes, I do. You know you have a target on your back. Cleo's Wait, I... going to kill you. What? What? Do you think? Uh, yeah, I think. So, I think it's important now more than ever that we all stick together. You know, that that's like music to my ears. I'm sealing the tunnel. You're moving into the fairy fort now. Well, that's the end of this episode of Last Life. Don't forget to leave a like, and I'll see you next week when the fairy fort is almost certainly going to go up in flames.